All right, and welcome to the Applying Tattoos tutorial. And, well, what I'm going to show you how to do is take this vector art and place it over a body and really make it look like it's there. And I'm also going to show you how to develop this sort of skin texture inside the tattoo. And you can use henna or tattoo or any other type of vector art. Maybe you have some that you've done yourself or uh, maybe you have some vector art that you've created with Melanie's video tutorial on the vector art and you can apply it to bodies and make it look like this. And so let's not mess around and get started. Alright, first off let's take a look at the files that we're going to be using during this tutorial and inside the project files folder you'll find the applying tattoos folder and you'll see these three files right here. I have the completed version and the stock image and also the tattoos vector art over here. And what we're going to start off with first is opening up the stock image in Photoshop. So I'll double click on this image here. There we go. And I'll just resize this down a little bit so we can fit this in the window. So we have a woman here. We have a bare back. And we, we are going to just place that tattoo right over her back and over her arm. Now let's go back into the Adobe Bridge. And I'm going to double click on the tattoos image right here and load that up. And this is a PSD file. So we do have a transparent background here. But what I'm going to do is select the rectangular marquee. And I'll just start up at the top here and draw a selection around this tattoo over here, since this will be the one that will be going over the back of the woman there. And so I will go up here to Edit and Copy or Copy Merged. I'll just, if I have that layer selected, then I will just select copy, but better just to be safe, I'll select copy merged. And then I'll go over to the stock image and let's go up here to edit and down here to paste. And let's turn this into a smart object. Okay, if you're using Photoshop CS or earlier, then you can just skip this step. But I'm going to come up here to layer down here to Smart Objects and select the Convert to Smart Object. There we go. And this will allow this layer, for the time being, it will allow it to be non-destructible. So I'll come over here to Edit and over here to Free Transform because what we want to do now is rotate and size this vector tattoo here to her back. So let's go up here and I'm going to zoom in just a little bit closer so we can see what's going on. And just use the handles on the corners of this selection here. You can hold down the shift. I would recommend holding down the shift unless you need to distort the image. But holding down shift will allow you to maintain the images uh, or this layer's aspect ratio. I'm going to come up here to the corner and just rotate this. And what I'm trying to do here is line this up going in the direction of her back here. You see that? So I really want to focus on the center of this tattoo and make sure that that's lining up with the middle of her back. You see that? Now, don't worry if it's not perfect. I'm going to show you how to make it look like this tattoo is really on her back. What I'm going to do is just, I'm going to stretch this up just a little bit, bring in the sides, and then I'll reposition this to the center a little bit. And I can zoom out and really, you know, get an overall look to really make sure that it looks like it's centered there. It doesn't have to be perfect right now. We can go back and rotate this later on, but that looks pretty good. I'm going to pull the side in just a little bit. Don't want that wrapping around the side of her body there. Just something like this. And I probably want that just a little bit lower, so I'm going to pull this down something like this. There we go. Now that looks pretty good. It's pretty close to what I did originally. So after I have lined it up going in the same direction of her back and let's say you're working on another image you have like an arm or a leg well you would just do the same thing you would just make sure and rotate the artwork so it's going in the same direction and then what I'll do is press the enter key on the keyboard to confirm that there we go 
and we can always just use the move tool to make any other fine adjustments there.